Steve, brilliant to see this new cell here at Metal Light. When was this installed? Uh, it's been in about five, five and a half months now. Okay, what was the reason they bought it? Um, the, the, obviously, the automation side was a, was a big focus for, for, for Metal Light. Um, and the, the main focus for us was the, the out, of hours, out of hours running. So what have they actually got? What have you sold them? So behind us we've got the UX500, uh, full five axis uh, machine, obviously 500 denoting its working, working envelope with the ID9 control. And then on the side there we've got the 10 pallet Eroa uh, Robot Easy. So the idea for them here is to be able to keep this machine basically running lights out, isn't it, over the weekend, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you and, can see and behind us, the uh, uh, metal light aren't new to new to five axis. Um, so the machine concept is, it itself um, obviously gave them increased capacity. Um, but what we worked with metal light was um, just working on that out of hours um, running. You know, the guys switch off at the end of the day. This machine will go for another another 10 or 12 hours. So what's the partnership here then and the relationship between the Quasar and the Euroa and, and ETG as, uh, as the one bringing it together? So the, the, the partnership between Quasar and Euroa goes a lot deeper than just what's here in the UK. So that goes all the way back to the factory. Um, so Quasar out in Taiwan have a technical partnership with um, Eroa as, and, and their main factory offering an automated solution. So that's rolled through to ourselves here in the UK. So we are obviously the, uh, the, the distributor for, for Quasar. We have REM systems that support us with Eroa. We're the machine tool expert. REM systems are the automation expert. So when entering an, an, a, an a project together, we really tailor the package around to suit, suit the customer. Okay, the question I'm sure a lot of viewers will be thinking is, why go for a machine and an automated solution that, that isn't necessarily one total integrated machine in itself? Mm -hmm. Why would they do that? We've got scalability here. Um, so one thing, when we started off the conversation with a with with customer, it's do we go for four pallets, five pallets, one pallet, ten pallets? Um, so we really had to come up with a, with a concept that suited the customer and allowed them to grow. Um, so we've got the 10 pallet variant there. Um, we've future proofed it that should they come back in six months, 12 months, we can expand on that. So we can take that system off, we can put that onto another machine and we can put an increased capacity onto here, maybe larger pallets or more pallets. Okay, so I suppose no company really knows where they're going to be in a year or two years time, do they? So to have a little bit more choice in what you do yeah. could, could be quite a good reason. Yeah, exactly. To... Customers that are looking at these type of machines are obviously focused on a particular project. You know, that may be a three-year project for them, maybe a 10-year project. There, are, there is a life cycle to these projects, and when it comes to the end of those, they may start to look at alternative to work to put through, through the cell. They may, they may need additional pallets. They may need larger pallets or a different form of work holding. And that's where we can come in, that we can obviously remove that unit and put, and, and put another system onto it. So if the demand changed for a, a volume of much smaller components but in higher volumes, could we go for maybe a 36 or a 72 station system here as opposed to what we've got then? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So as, as well as still being able to utilise that system that they've got Somewhere and put else. onto a... Because at the end of the day, the customer's already paid for it, haven't they? Um, so they could take that unit and put, and put it onto, a, uh, onto another machine. This is quite a strong argument. This is quite a strong argument, Steve, for uh, giving a company, or when the company's got a vision of something, they don't necessarily really know where that direction or where that fork in the road's going to be, do they? So I suppose by having that choice, it's quite something for flexibility. Exactly. The, the root of any project that we discuss, you, you, you start off um, with a small little project, and it grows arms and legs as you, as you develop it with, it with the customer. We're still talking now about this machine and how we, how we can improve um, on different various options that we're, we're bringing. So six months after the install, we still do improvement processes with, with the customer and that's going, to be, that's going to be ongoing. Okay, the flexibility's a winner. What about the two pieces of hardware as they sit there separately? Tell me about how good the Euroa is. So the, uh, again, the Euroa is Basically, it's a pick, pick and load system with, 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 ten, with ten pallets. It, it can't do anything. It can't do anything wrong. It has a very simple job of picking up a raw pallet and loading it into the into the machine tool. So, in terms of the software of how that's managed, it's all driven from the control it, con, control itself. So, what we have here is the the Aro, the Aroa unit is the slave. 
Um, so you have the, obviously the program is built into the machine and that calls upon the pallet that, it, that, it, that it's requesting. Um, you can then go a step further um, and have some additional software put onto the Aroa so that if, if running through the, through the course of the night and a, and a drill breaks or it misses part of the feature for, for whatever reason, you come up in the morning it will flag and identify what feature, what component and what tool is broken so then, then you know exactly um, that comp component needs to be replaced. So the communication between the, the two is quite solid and quite, you know, well thought out. Yeah, although, it, you, 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 yeah, it, we, we got, we, we're from two companies, from Eroa and, and from Crazer, but we deliver one solution. The, the customer only ever has one port of call to come to and that's, that's ETG. And what about the machine itself then? All right, let's forget the pallet system. Not a lot can go wrong with that. A machine, it can. Precision, you need, can this deliver it? And the reliability that this offers too. Do they get that with the Quasar? Yeah, so the UX500, um, so we've got a fit on this particular machine, we've got 60 tools, a 15,000 maxi spindle, um, face and taper, so a good, um, well renowned um, spindle in the terms of its manufacturer being man Maxia. Um, a nice concept knuckle style table to give you full, full access around the, around the part. And then obviously we've got a bro probing system in there. Linear scales is, is standard on this machine. Because you're going to need that. When I look at what they're doing here, they're not just machining small pieces of aluminium, are they? They're doing some quite hard niche materials and lots of metal removal by the looks of some of the applications. Yeah, the, part, the parts vary from very small medical, medical parts where we're looking to old five or six microns all the way up to large um, tall steel die pieces. So the variance, hence why we have the crane system there as well to load those larger billets, the machine gives them full, full variation of, of, of different types of workload. Problem for you is, if this is that good and it eats all their work, they ain't gonna need another one, are they? Yeah, they do. So there's already a second one um, on, uh, on, its, on its way in. Um, so later in the year, uh, slightly different concept. We're talking on a, a three axis, a vertical machining centre, um, again with another robot system with, with four pallets. So again, from what we've put in and what we've worked with the customer here, they've seen the expansion that they can bring onto, onto other machines.